Just a few hours ago, ERCOT, the state's uh, electric grid operator, issued a weather watch ahead of a coming cold front. Even though you're likely to set new winter demand records next week, they think uh, we're going to be using a lot of electricity. The grid operator says it's not expecting any problems. That's partly because wind turbines are producing more electricity than ever this week. Uh, also, a key deadline for winterization passed on December 1st. Under that new rule, power plants in our area have to be what they call reasonably prepared for lasting sub-zero wind chills. This is the first winter where that level of weatherization is required. Even though the current projections for peak demand might put us even higher than we than we got this past summer, it just looks like we'll have you know quite a bit of quite a bit of resources on the system to be able to to handle it, which is good because I do expect some things to break as we get closer as it gets cold. But that larger cushion will be helpful going into going into the event. Okay, so in the last two years, uh, ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, Electricity Reliability Council of Texas, has completed more than 1,700 weatherization inspections with 450 more planned for the coming weeks. Uh, they say that uh, it is, they are ahead of schedule on those inspections, uh, that, uh, that schedule that lawmakers set after the 2021 winter storm that was just so horrible across the state where so many people were without power for days in those sub-freezing temperatures. Okay.